Hello and welcome to the stock market analysis. Today we're going to look at the financial markets. First of all, we start with the S&P 500 and then we'll move on to uh, commodities and so on. So we have the futures here. S&P 500 is still chugging higher today. There's a bit of uh, open a bit higher that there's weaknesses. As you can see, uh, since it's dropped below the 200 MA, it has been declining and maybe a double bottom here in the five minute chart forming if you can go back above here then maybe can rise but uh, overall it is still in a very nice daily uptrend with railroad tracks between the 20 ma and 50 ma so that tells us to be uh, bullish in the uh, short term and mid term now i want to show you the maps of uh, today uh, generally in the red today with some pockets of green like Microsoft, Google, Meta. Uh, AMD is doing quite well today, one day performance. But uh, we've just passed three months, finished uh, March. And uh, this is a three months performance of the stocks in S&P 500. Uh, one of the biggest gainers are JP Morgan. Berkshire, Amazon, and of course NVIDIA is up 82%. Uh, Broadcom, AMD, Qualcomm, not not bad either. It's Intel that is uh, not performing very well. Um, and we also in healthcare, we have uh, Eli Lilly going up very nice. And Merck, this is a three months performance. And Meta has been doing quite well along with Disney and Netflix as well. Uh, let's take a look at some of the futures uh, performance. Well, Coco is up today, but what we're interested is in the uh, year to date performance. Uh, Coco up 150% from uh, January till now. Nikkei up 20%, of course, orange juice is 19.42%, uh, crude oil not bad, and that's why you see a lot of crude oil, uh, oil stocks going up, uh, crude oil bad, brand also not bad. Um, S&P 500 is only up 8% and gold almost 7%. But of course, the biggest gainer is cocoa because of, I think, climate change is something that is uh, making uh, cocoa quite expensive um worst performer of course is uh year to date is uh natural gas and soybean meal okay so uh not very very good for uh, the natural gas uh, currencies uh sorry we go to um Forex, all right. And if you want to look at the performance of, uh, well, year-to-date performance, mm, relative to uh, the USD, USD has been gaining quite a lot. The worst is the uh, Japanese yen and Swiss franc. Right? Uh, all right when you look at the crypto uh performance uh year to date right bitcoin has uh gone up by 147 uh, sorry what a bc uh sorry bitcoin has gone up by 62 percent ethereum by 51.2 percent year to date all right um let's go to the groups and look at sectors for the uh, one week performance energy is doing very well basic materials one month energy is leading basic materials as well but we're interested in the uh, three month performance right from uh, January to April technology has been doing very well communication service comes in second so um, these are the stock kind of stock uh, sector and stocks that you want to uh, be in, you know, to look for very high performance. So of course, Nvidia and, and stuff like that are doing very very well. And uh, 
So let's look at technology industry. And we can see uh, three month performance, computer hardware, and of course, semiconductors are doing very, very well. And half year performance, no uh, surprise here, semiconductors are doing very, very well. Uh, which is why you see stocks like NVIDIA, AMD, and so on doing very, very well. Solar is the worst performance here. So let's go into the charts now. SP, of course, is going higher. Uh, from what November to now, and if you look at the Dow future, Dow Jones Industrial Average is also still in a nice uptrend. The support here, so uh, declining a bit, but not much to worry about because there is a lot of support here. If you can see, let me just draw this uh, support area for you to see. Very amazing, okay spot area so as long as it stays above this area Dow Jones is going to do quite well but let's look at Nasdaq composite all right Nasdaq not bad either still above the rising 20 MA and 50 MA this helps us to remain bullish short term and mid term okay uh, usually a simple trend following method will do it has not dropped below this area so we need to continue to be bullish on it now what about the semiconductor sector it's still in a very bullish uptrend above the rising 20 ma 50 ma consolidating sideways a bit okay this is a consolidation you could argue that this might be a cup with handle pattern All right if you can break out above this then go higher be still above the rising 60 minute to 100 ma so you might want to stay bullish on it now the thing is um, if we look at the seasonality of Dow Jones Industrial April and May for the past four months has been very good so uh, I mean for past four years Dow Jones closed higher June suffered a lot so for Dow um, April and May is not too bad for, okay. spy s p 500 april and may is also good for spy up 75 percent of the time 100 percent in may for uh, semiconductor sector april is not very good down 1.7 percent i think uh, for the past four years average April and September are not very good months for uh, semiconductor. So you might want to rethink if you want to buy semi stocks like NVIDIA. Um, so if seasonality is a play, if we, if we, uh, this is a semi, if we trade sideways is good enough. Maybe it might even drop to the 50. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Um, NVIDIA. Here is still uh, trying to find support at the 50 MA, but here's a double top. Here, if it continues to drop below this 20 MA, it might just break the support here and might even meet the 50 MA. So, something to think about. So, let's move on to um, the mid caps. IJH mid cap. Okay, mid caps are still in an uptrend. Uh, actually, mid caps are have broken and making new all time highs as well. So, this is an area of support here. Very strong support area here. All right. And the rising 20 MA, 50 MA, 200 MA points to more bullishness in the mid cap as long as it stays above this support area. Okay, daily chart, it's uh, still in an uptrend. Reason, recently, it 
uh, found support at 20 MA and moved higher. Uh, how about the small caps? Okay, small caps uh, at a high as well, but it's way below the uh, highs back here. So there is a lot of resistance area here, which makes it difficult for small caps to uh, go up. Okay, this is a resistance area in the weekly chart, but it has broken above this uh, resistance area, which now acts as a strong support support area. So um, it's still charging higher, but because of the amount of resistance over here, the mid uh, the small caps might find it difficult. So it's sitting in between support and resistance, but uh, I think that. Most likely it will go up rather than down because the MAs are pointing us to a bullish bias rather than bearish bias at the moment. Okay, um, let me just go back. To... All right, gold right now. This is a chart of gold all right this is a daily chart of gold as you can see it's breaking up higher and uh, broke out here the bullish cross rising 20 ma 50 ma 200 ma points to more bullishness in the future and uh, the weekly chart shows that gold is doing very very well broken out of this long-term resistance area so whatever it does this is a very strong support area now investors should buy as long as it stays above 2000 i think it's going to go higher because half of this resistance is upwards let's take a look at um crude oil crude oil still in a very nice uptrend in the daily chart uh, higher lows, high highs, bullish cross above the 20 MA, 50 MA. So that tells us that it's still in an uptrend, possibility of going higher. That's why a lot of uh, all stocks are doing very well. Like uh, Marathon Oil has been doing quite well. You can see the stock breaking above a downtrend line, forming a double bottom. You could actually trade here, put a stop loss move higher and it's almost reached the former highs here a bullish cross so when uh, oil prices start to bottom and go up a lot of the uh, oil stocks are the beneficiary of it now i want to show you dow transports dow jones transport is um trading sideways trying to break out higher but you can see that it found support at the 200 ma if you go to the uh weekly chart you could always say that it might be forming a ascending triangle breakout here all right and this might be a cup with handle pattern and if it breaks out well the height of this thing you project upwards could be even at 18,500 so Dow transports something you want to take a look at so um, let's take a look at the tech sector which has been doing quite well we saw earlier how it is one of the best performers monthly chart shows that it has broken above this area this will be the new support area let me just draw it for you to see support area excellent so long term wise, if it stays above here, tech sector is going to co continue to move up. It's still chugging higher, no weaknesses yet at this moment. Short term support area is this area and uh, it's staying above the 50 MA, I mean rising 50 MA, rising 200 MA points to uh, bullishness in the tech sector. Now Apple is not doing very well at this moment because it's below the 20 ma declining 50 ma that shouldn't happen 
but uh, it is what it is and it might be forming a double bottom but if it breaks below this support area it might go lower okay might even drag the SP 500 down a bit but nowadays uh, it's almost like Nvidia is taking over Apple as the uh, king and uh, even though Apple is below the 200 MA, S&P 500 keeps making uh, higher highs and so on. Now, uh, let's move to Bitcoin before we go into some foreign markets. Bitcoin just shy of an all-time high here of uh, 73,000 plus. Now, I want you to take a look at Bitcoin here. It might be forming a daily small cup with handle pattern. And my, my words, if it breaks out of this consolidation, it's going to make another new high. Cup with handle. If you go to the 60-minute chart, you can see clearly. Of course, if it drops below here, uh, things might go south. But if it breaks above this consolidation, okay, it might. it's going to make new highs. Even Ethereum looks quite the same. It's a Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, pound support at 50 MA, about to meet 50 MA again. You could say that it might be forming a cup and handle pattern. Okay. It needs to break above this consolidation. If it continues to go lower, it will meet the 50 MA. And if the 50 MA does not hold, it's going to drop. Okay. You want to see it go above here, then we will have a cup with handle. Okay. Uh, want to show you some pairs. USD JPY, I've shown you before. Let's go to the monthly chart. You see that it's making a sending triangle type of pattern. If it goes above this monthly bottom until it's likely going to break out higher. Okay, you can see that it's uh, consolidating and if it's a breakout of this thing, uh, consolidation, it might go higher. You could even say that it's a flat pattern. Alright, something for you to take note. You can see the ascending triangle here very clearly in the weekly chart. Let me just draw for you to see. Alright, the USD has been doing really well uh, against uh, many other currencies. Uh, USD Swiss franc. Right, you can see that uh, US dollar is strengthening. In the daily chart is in an uptrend. Right, recently just broke above this uh, consolidation, gone back above the 200 MA and Looks like it's just trying to rise. So if we can continue to stay above this area, USD Swiss franc is going to continue to go higher. But overall, it's still in not like the USD JPY. It's still in a, like a downtrend kind of thing, trying to break above this downtrend line. And if it can make higher highs and higher lows, then only we will have a uptrend in the weekly chart. So, I uh, want to show you the German DAX, which is very interesting because uh, daily chart, the German DAX is making new all-time highs. You can see in the monthly chart that it's in an out uptrend, all-time highs. Weekly chart just broke above this uh, consolidation. Okay, if we take a measured move, it's gonna can get target here. Okay, I think uh, target is almost met, but uh, it's still above the rising 20 MA, so you want to stay bullish on the tax as long as it's above here. Now, this tells us that uh, not only US market is going up, the German market. Uh, reflects that the world economy is doing very well. All right, the only only place that's not doing so well is uh, China and Hong Kong, and uh, some Asian countries like uh, 
Malaysia, maybe Singapore. Even India is making all-time highs compared to... You can see the Nifty 50 making all-time highs. It's in a nice it's a weekly uptrend. Right? Not only America is doing well, India is doing very well. And by the looks of it, it's in an uptrend and uh, rising 200 MA daily points to more bullishness in the future. It, but watch this area. If it drops below this area, then you might have a double top and uh, correct, really correct to 200 MA. But still in a very nice uptrend in the daily, weekly. And uh, of course, this monthly chart. Okay, um, of course, Reliance Industries. Hmm. Limited. All right. Just want to show you Reliance Industries. I think uh, it's belong to Mukesh Ambani. All time highs since uh, twenty twenty four. Early 24 is risen by quite nicely. Okay, still in uptrend. Although, uh, if it drops below here, it might correct and drop to the 200 MA. Uh, FTSE 100, which is the uh, index for the UK. This is a daily chart. Weekly chart, you can see that it's, it's broken above a weekly ascending triangle pattern. Okay, and this is a significant thing because you can see that it's really strong support here. This is a really strong support here. And if it can stay above here, most likely it's going to make new highs. Really strong support here. Previously, this was a very strong resistance area, but once overcome, there's no reason why it can not make new all-time highs. Okay, now, uh, CAC 40. <coughs> the French stock market is also making new all-time highs. This is a monthly chart. All-time high, weekly is in the uptrend, in the daily chart, you can see that it broke out recently of this consolidation. They're so trying to form a consolidation to break out of, and if it continues to break out here, then it can go higher. You can see how strong the French market is, right? Breakout, breakout, possible breakout, still above the rising 20 MA and 50 MA, and just doing really really well so um let's go back to the us 500 futures futures a bit weak today i must say but it's still above the 60 minute 200 ma so if it doesn't drop below this area there is still possibility that it might continue to rise okay this is a uh, area to watch this doji area the lows of this doji which coincides with about the half of this green candle so um whatever it does if it's still in a nice railroad track between the 20 and 50 uh, the 20 and 50 has a real track you want to continue to stay bullish on us market so if you have listened to uh, entire analysis, it's always good to look at the financial markets around the world, so you can be a one dimension, not only a one dimensional analyst, but multi dimensional. So, hope you find this helpful. If you find it helpful, do like my video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.